Take your key connector and draw a line in the center. And now we're going to fold those long edges towards that line in the center, wrong sides facing each other. If you want, you can use double-sided tape or just press that with an iron. Now we're going to take this to the machine and we're going to stitch on both sides. Take your half an inch swivel hook, fit the connector through and wrap it around. Fold it wrong sides together, then if you want you can baste the top edge. Take your pocket overlay and apply some double sided tape to the wrong side of the fabric. Then you can just peel off the plastic cover, grab your front lining piece and measure three and a half centimeter from the top edge. I already marked the lines, so I have a guideline. Making sure you center your pocket overlay you're going to place it on top. Just like that. And then you can just place the key connector underneath. Just center it around that short bottom edge. Press it with your fingers. Then we're going to stitch all around the outer edge. But make sure you leave a long thread tails so you don't backstitch on the beginning or the end. Okay, once you have that stitched in place, you're going to turn it to the wrong side, pull on those thread tails and you're going to pull the thread from the right side to the wrong side. There you go. Now you can tie a knot to secure the thread tails, cut the excess, and then you can use some glue to just dab a little bit on top of the knot to prevent it from unraveling. Take the zipper pocket and your number three zipper and we're going to place the zipper on top of the pocket and we're going to line it up along that bottom edge with right sides facing up. So the zipper is facing up and the right side of our zipper pocket is facing up. You're going to center the zipper and just clip that in place. At this point you need to decide which way you want the zipper to open, from left to right or right to left, so pay attention to that. So I like my zippers to open from left to right, so this is what I've done, as you see. And now we're going to baste the zipper in place about two millimeters from the edge. Now you can take double-sided tape and we're going to apply it on each side of the zipper and also along the top edge of our zipper pocket. There you go, just like that. Put this aside for a second and take your front lining piece and some scissors because we need to cut away the lining where the window is on our pocket overlay. Now we're going to take your zipper pocket, peel off the plastic cover from the zipper and we're going to center the zipper inside the window. Here we go. Press it with your fingers. And then leaving along thread tails, we're going to stitch just the bottom edge. Once you have the bottom edge stitched, again, you're going to flip it to the wrong side. You're going to pull the thread to the wrong side on both sides. We're going to tie knots to secure them in place and then you can just glue them in place like before. When the glue dries, you can just flip the zipper pocket down and then lightly press that seam. There you 
Here we go. Then you can remove the plastic cover from the other side of your zipper pocket. And fold the pocket right sides together and line up that top edge above the zipper. So you're basically covering the zipper. Here we go, just like that. If you want, you can just clip along the sides. There you go. And then we're going to take this to the machine and stitch in two parts. So first we're going to stitch the remaining sides along that zipper. Again, leave long thread tails on the beginning and the end. And then once this is complete, you're going to pull the thread to the wrong side, tie a knot on each side and then glue them in place like before. And then we're going to stitch both sides of our zipper pockets. Just the zipper pocket, not the front lining. So it's best to just fold the lining onto itself and stitch it with the zipper pocket like this. And then you can just stitch that in place. Once you've stitched both sides, you can just trim the seam allowance if you want to. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Stay crafty, friends.